Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to review one of my favorite Lexuses of all time, an Alice 430. This is actually my personal car. It's a 2005 model and a proper Lexus V8, which is the third revision of the legendary 1UZ FE engine, which made popular the LS400 and put Lexus on the map in 1989. We would be doing a series of videos on this car. If you're thinking of buying one, if you already have one and you've got, because they do have some common problems, and if you've got one of those problems, how to resolve them, where to source the parts from, what they are actually to live with, and how they are to drive. As you can see, this is a facelift model, by the way, if you do not know the differences between a facelift model and a pre-facelift model. The non-facelift model, or the LS430, started its life cycle in 2001. And the facelift version was introduced in 2003, late 2003. The facelift version had different headlamps, different front bumper lip, and the fog lights are different. These 18 inch wheels replaced the standard 17 inch wheels on the pre facelift model. And the differences actually continue in the back as well. Let's have a look. So, the tail lights are actually clear lens. In the pre facelift model, it was a yellow lens. The lights that go on these ones are actually smaller compared to the pre facelift model. The two tailpipes or exhaust pipes are the same, they're unchanged. So is the rest of the vehicle at the rear, is exactly the same as the 2001 pre facelift model. So inside, the LS430 has pretty much remained the same with majority of cars that I've seen at least in the UK with the UL model the ultra luxury model um, came with beige leather interior with this rushed leather finish on the sides the seats are beige and leather in as well and look at the extension the whole seat actually extends in this particular car rather than just just the bottom bit opening and well extending or and retracting in the German rivals. Well primarily in most of the UK spec cars I've noticed that the steering wheel is the part leather part wooden and this is real wood by the way the whole wood veneer in this car is actually um, finished by Yamaha they produce fantastic um, wooden pianos and musical instruments. So they produce them. All the entertainment system, the air conditioning, and um, the audio system, everything is controlled by this touch screen here. The steering column has got rate and reach adjustment as well. And in 2001, Lexus was actually one of the early manufacturers who had the smart key system. So it basically, with this sort of system, it's actually quite bizarre. Um, I don't know what was the reason to put it. They could simply just put uh, a push button, push to start button, just like modern cars. But nevertheless, it looks like a key, but the key is actually here and you can start the car without inserting the inside the ignition.